first jobs basically gonna be getting wings doors off all the front panels off all the glass out all the interior out and uh, get ready to start chopping So basically what I'm going to do is just cut all the way down the inside edge of this, all the way down there, along here, all the way up there. So I'm going to end up keeping this bit, the this dash panel, this piece I'll cut underneath that. And then once I've got these off, um, I'll be able to get a cut in the rest of it. So, and then that back parcel shelf bit there is going to stay. I'll cut down the edge of this. All this in a wheel tub. Um, no, sorry. I'm going to cut down the edge of this. Uh, that outer piece of the wheel tub will be going, but I'm going to leave it in for now just to hold everything together where I want it to be before I get some bracing in. Because this whole rear arch will be cut out and this will be, you know, made like sort of tubbed and then it'll have a, an arch put on it. Because the MX5 wheelbase is a lot wider and then obviously all the pillars are staying. But the bits that I'm keeping are actually pretty good. I, I probably put a pair of outer seals on it. And I've just measured the MX5, and the this this seal line here is exactly the same as this car as it is on the MX5. So we can literally connect this outer seal to the inner seal of the MX5, and it will fit like to the millimeter, which is uh, pretty crazy. I need to take out this little shelf piece so that I can get up in there to cut. And then the idea is that basically I will be able to just lift the body off and have the complete rolling floor pan, which I can just roll back onto the truck and uh, get rid of. I'm just gonna battle some more with these front wings and then um, we should be able to get cutting.
What a mess. If anyone's after a 100E chassis, mint condition, give me a shout. This is probably what she looked like the first time I drive it. So I'm pretty sure most of the uh, rust that's left in this is going to be uh, not parts that were actually used that I'm going to use anyway. So uh, yeah, the bits the bits that are good are the bits that need to be good. The inner wheel tubs are all. This is pretty rare. That's original original arch. Never had any welding done. Not even really rusted. But all that's been cut out anyway. So, yeah, all these lower edge panels, the one that goes outside of that, this bottom one you can get. Um, and then the sills. So I'll probably just do sills all the way around this lower edge. New piece in that bottom one. And then uh, the inner sill will be joined to the MX-5. So that's panel wise, that's all I need. I'm going to try and get a couple of wings because these are both junk. Front panel's good. So I might possibly get fiberglass wings. Don't know. Bonnet's good. Seats are mint. Steering wheel. I love these old school steering wheels. The middle stays still. You got a little, uh, I guess that was the, I don't know, indicators. be done for today what I want to do next basically is just carry on cutting out stuff that's not going to be needed I can't cut out too much until I've got the other car stripped down just in case there's bits I actually want to use in here I'm not sure whether any of this sort of inner structure on the inside of there will be uh, usable a lot of it's a lot of it needs repair replacing anyway so but I'm going to cut away the inner sills and uh, cut away the rest of the inner tubs in the back and just try and get as much weight as weight as much weight out of this as possible because I need to be able to lift this onto the MX5 chassis once I've got that stripped down so it needs to be as light as possible. Um, so the the um, the wheelbase on this is 87 and the wheelbase of the MX-5 is 92 I think so I've got an extra 5 inches on the wheelbase so most of that is going to go on the back because these cars kind of look like the front they look like the back wheel is too far forward I think anyway if you look like side profile of 100E the back wheel is really far forward I think you know you could probably move it back I probably do like maybe 3 or 4 at the back and 1 or 2 at the front and I think it'll still have the right proportions and look right. But um, yeah, I've got to get rid of this chassis and um, yeah, I look at, look at ordering up the few panels that I do need that I definitely know I need for this. Um, and I'll probably make some sort of trolley for this so I can just wheel it around a bit easier when I'm working on it and then I can sort of move it about, get the uh, MX-5 in and start hacking that up. I think it's going to take a lot longer to strip the MX-5 down than it did this because there's going to be a lot of wiring and stuff that we need to keep in the car and there's a lot of old overlapping panels in an MX-5 so I think it, oh, it's going to probably take quite a bit of work to, to strip it down. But yeah that's it for uh, day one on the 
100E MX5 build. So cheers for watching and see you on the next one.